Spencer, trap, hand pass to Taylor. 45 metres out, Taylor looks good. Sudia got one. Again, it'll be Scott and Harding. Regan caught, Lamb quickly to half forward. Dean underneath the ball. Opportunity for Brennan, hand pass. 39, however, is Leon Perry. Long kick, looks good. Oh, two in a row to see me in the game's back on. At the six minute mark, second quarter. Scott, a lovely tap. O'Loughlin, with a swiping going on, I saw there. Bryce Foreman playing well at half back to Rankin in the middle of the ground. Rankin, easily around Wilkinson. Looking for and finding Clinton Browning. And they're exposing a bit of a weakness there. Clinton Brown is not having a good time in Clinton Browning. Long kick from Clinton Browning. This is Mario Turco who's on. Turco to Wilson. Wilson to Alexander. Oh, Ron. Ron, lovely stuff back to Turco. And a well-deserved goal to the Sharks. Umpire Graffin, the bounce. Harding with the tap. Wayne Lamb. Looked like Phil Lamb into the forward line. Too far for everybody. A chance for Dean. Foreman with him to Spencer. Spencer's kick is a magnificent one when you consider the direction he was running and he was on his wrong foot as well. This is Michael Brennan for the Sharks. Now Paul Harding. Harding's left foot kick for Mainwaring, but he's giving away about two feet to Scott. He wouldn't like that because he's kicked it to his immediate opponent. Uh-huh. Keen again the target, but again two or three to beat and can't. Kick smothered by Rankin. Intelligently socket off the ground, two by uh, Willett, looks like. He's on the 50 metre line, uses the left foot very effectively. Well done, son. Good bit of play. O'Loughlin has got Featherby loose. No one within... 10 or 15 metres of Featherby and Subiaco are a point behind. No, he missed. Dear, oh dear. To Paul Ross. But the defence of Subiaco has been superb. They've restricted East from that in this quarter to one goal three. Ross into the forward line. Foreman from behind. Gee, he's playing so well. It's almost as if they're kicking to him, picking him out. That's how good his anticipation is. It's called a play on. Gets his kick away. He, no, robbed of it by Regan, but it doesn't matter. Regan to Renstead. Renstead, a lovely left footer. A chance for Lockyer. Oh, and he's drilled it. And that was a timely goal. It was. And Lockyer, as we've said before, is very quick on the ground, but that's his second goal. But the player that actually was responsible for that was Bryce Foreman with another timely mark on the half-back line. And Lockyer's given him a just reward to kick it through the big ones. It's only their second goal for the quarter. We've played 27 minutes, and East Fremantle lead their eight goals. So Alexander over the top, Scott Neesham. Hand pass from Neesham to Willett. Willett now to Brown. Oh, and a crunch behind the ear sees Willett on the ground. And that was Browning that gave him a nice old whack in the ear. Play goes on. Bryce Foreman out the back door. Rankin caught. Still caught. Must be holding the ball. Yes. It's tough. There's the have crunch. A... Let's have a look at this. Oh, there it is. Bang. Whoa, bang. <laughs> have a couple. Play goes on. Chance for Spencer. One grab. Into the forward line. And a good marking defence to East Fremantle's George Christie. Brennan. No, that's Rankin, far side of the ground. This is Watterson, who's been a star at half-back. To Foreman. To Watterson. Watterson left foots the ball into the centre of the ground. Battle on here. That was Renstead to Neesham. Neesham into the open space to Bushel. Left it for Browning. Neesham backs up, looking for someone to give it to. Finds the back of a Renstead. 50 metres out, Murray Renstead. Oh, it's a bomb. It's through. 
Well, Jared Neesham, the player that shot the hand pass out to Murray Renstead, and it's one player on this ground, Jared Neesham, we can see in our screen there, who never falls over. He keeps his feet and balance, and that's the firm. Neesham to Renstead, and Murray Renstead, who was very slow to start in the game. Peter Featherby was right on top of him. Have a look at Jared Neesham, weave his body, the hand passes there, and he always follows it up as well, so that if he his teammate gets into trouble, he's on hand and a magnificent goal, so East Man will kick the first two. Neesham again is available. Slow motion stuff from Neesham, he's got that much time. Peak the target, oh, a strong mark. Well, that's a classic mark from uh, Brian Peak, playing his 200th league game for East Fremantle. He played 66 with Geelong as well, a real champion. Peak, a high kick, thumped away. Chance for Renstead, left foot kick by Murray Renstead. Alexander, oh, no, couldn't be. But what quick thinking by Alexander to get it back to Bushel. Is he value down there or what? Well, David Bushell, he'd be thanking Ron Alexander for that because the big fella could have been paid the mark, but so quick is his thinking. Just have a look at this. The one against one duel. Brilliant use of the body. He wasn't even interested in going back for a mark if it had been paid, and that's what teamwork's all about. Captain coach to one of the youngsters and a real good ball getter around the ground, Bushell. And, and Subiaco's defence is under immense pressure. Brown's kicking. Good mark. Well, well, that's his first of the game, his first mark. Keane. I don't know who that was for. Kid's confidence must be down at the moment. Peaking. Hand pass from Misham, smothered. Good stuff from Watterson, though. Out comes Jones. Half forward. In towards full forward. Brown uses the body well. Oh, but Bushell breaks through. Puts it on the boot and through it goes for Eastern Man of Sterling. So it's 68 to 99. 26 and a half minutes in. Keen over the top. Alexander on the ball for the Sharks. This is Rankin with the left foot. Browning battling. Through comes Bushel. Brick wall stuff. Dwayne Lamb. Whoops. Chance for Jones. Inside 50 metres, Billy Jones. He's done it. And he's from Adel. Right back. Again, it'll be Keen and Alexander. Keen over the top to Featherby. McNish has got two or three to beat. Didn't really commit for the ball then. Renstead did. But that's Rankin. Now it's Jones. It looks like Brennan, who's a long, long way down, to Peak, to Rankin, to Brennan. Brennan to the forward line. Oh, and a mark by Lockyer. Well, oh, when you're so hot, you're hot. When you're not, you're not. There's the siren to end the third quarter. And the big fella, Andrew Lockyer, to have a shot from 30 metres out directly in front. There's the kick. 17-17. 119. East Fremantle. 10-8-68, Subiaco at three-quarter counter, he decides to shepherd, looks like Bushel out in front, number 29, good shepherding from Alexander, Bushel from point blank range, take a bow, Ron Alexander. This isn't either. Watterson with him, Keen interferes with Watterson, and Watterson gets the kick. Both interfering with each other, how the umpire could ever decide how Watterson should get a free yeah. kick, as far as I was concerned, the mark should have been Sees Wilson into the opening, into the forward line, Alexander! Oh. Scott from the defensive 50 metre line up towards the wing. Oh, oh. Featherby, thanks very much. Long kick from Rankin. Alexander oh. again! Oh, that's two! Peak looking for Alexander, but he's not there. Brown, oh yes, great yeah. mark. Line ball that one, Featherby with the ball. Towards half forward, Dean the target, Foreman behind, and paid a brilliant run. Opportunity for Brennan, hand pass. 39, however, is Leon Perry. Long <laughs> kick, looks good. Ross into the forward line, Foreman from behind. Geez, oh, playing so well. Beautifully balanced athlete, looking for Alexander. Oh, what a mark. Dear, oh, 
Gia. Left foot from Lockyer. Alexander. Yes. He has to be paid. Gee whizzes. Dynamite. Well, that's his fifth mark so far. So this is Warren Dean now, who's kicked one goal. Inside 50 metres. Well, it's a nice looking kick. That is a magnificent kick from Warren Dean. Chance for Brown. Brown's long kick. Lamb into the air. Oh, 